Hello everyone, I was a little bit busy so I couldn't make more videos, but let's continue looking at the fourth week of Season 6. Here's a match against Meruru. Some of you may recognize this name, he usually gets pretty high in the ladder, and he usually does pretty well in playoffs as well. Uh, Meruru is actually a guilty of mine, but he doesn't talk very much, and I've never actually practiced against him before. But I do know he is someone who prefers playing safe games, yeah, he tends to go for traditional tank push games. So first ban Yulia is pretty good in that situation. I would say the one notable thing missing from this box is SP Elwin, which most boxes at this point were already running. But nevertheless, I ban very similarly to him. I get rid of units that are very dangerous to slow games like Yulia, Yurin, and even Hiei. I still personally find Hiei to be the scariest assassin right now, alongside Illustrial. Really the big thing Zerida has over them is that she is self-sufficient with her own faction buff. Speaking of which, that is exactly what Meruru goes for. He goes for the Zerida pick. Now this is the first week that the Crystal Stinger Dagger was available, and Meruru's Zerida here is indeed wearing a Crystal Dagger that you'll be seeing later. The Crystal Dagger is really really scary. Uh, now obviously it depends on how good your enchants are, but I've actually seen Zerida's one-shot jugglers uh, through both Water and Last Rites using Crystal Dagger. Uh, I mean that's usually an extreme example. Usually that happens because the Zerida has just really crazy enchants or possibly is running Rough Sea or something instead of Breeze. But either way, that is exactly why you see me ban Imelda right after he picks Zerida. Uh, because if a Zerida got Imelda whip, I think she would usually not have that much trouble taking out a juggler. He does pick Wheeler, who does offer a damage buff. And of course, he's a 3 healer box, so even though I only ban one healer, he is forced to pick a healer. Uh, some people don't take the bait, but in this case, like I said, Meru is more of a safe player. Uh, obviously, I didn't know it was Meru during pick ban, so it was pretty much just a gamble to see if my opponent wants to risk going healerless. Now, these days with the Crystal Dagger around, even if my Liana has Shrine Maidens, I'm still a little scared to put her out front. It is possible for Zerida to kill through Shrine Maidens. Obviously, that would come down to a stat check. Since my Liana is holy, if it is a Judge Talisman Zerida, it usually kills. But the upshot here is that his main targets are probably going to be Matthew or Liana. He can try to kill my juggler as well, but it is risky. Uh, unless last rites are broken, of course, then he will have an easier time killing. Luckily for me, this map is one of the ones that has a lot of terrain, especially water and forts, which can slow Zerida down. So I can sort of try to wall Zerida out using my two Landiuses and gamble a bit with Juggler while he's still at full life, but he does get a Tenyo Breeze at this point, which makes it pretty hard for me to hide from Zerida. And interestingly enough, he actually brought an AoE on Ares instead of a single target skill. I guess he just didn't want to risk Ares failing a kill, or worse yet, if Thorns activated and killed Ares in retaliation. And AoE is not really the worst choice here because it will break Juggler's last rites, as well as break Shrine Maidens if Juggler doesn't heal up enough afterwards. And you can see he actually kills my old Landius' first life here. So I decided to respond by attacking with Matthew, take out his Ares. At this point I kind of figured, okay, my formation's kind of broken anyway. So at the very least, I'll take the trade. Zerida can come in and kill basically whoever she wants now, but at least Ares will be gone. So Zerida dives in, tries to take out Juggler, and he gets a mega rip. Zerida misses the critical hit on Juggler. I mean, I do have Old Landius's aura there, but still, that's kind of bad luck for him. Uh, now, even though Zerida did miss the kill, I don't think she would have been able to move again either way, because Landius still has his aura up. So he still would have been trading Zerida for Juggler. That would kind of suck for me, but I do think I would be able to outlast him. I probably could have combined Old Landius and Matthew along with Actigan to take out his Landius. 